Welcome back, I'm Jason. In this episode, we're gonna start putting some parts together. We've got some Actobotics Channel and Actobotics X-Rail. We're gonna be using them in combination with each other to build a foundational frame upon which you can build the rest of your project. So you'll find in your kit some 16 and a half inch channel, which is what we're gonna be using in this build, as well as some 10 and a half inch X-Rail. Um, this X-Rail could just go ahead and be bolted to the inside of the channel like this, but, we want to be able to stay on pattern if we wanted to put a 13 and a half inch channel across the top. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use these 545 360s. These are side tap pattern mounts. And the cool thing about these is when you mount them on the inside of channel, the facing end is flush with the outside edge of the channel. So that'll give us a great place to mount our X-Rail to. You'll notice every other hole is tapped on the 545-360. So we're gonna use the ones that are not tapped and go through into the tapped holes on the X-Rail. We're using 3 8 inch long screws here. The exact length on these is not a super important, but we wanted to make it nice and long so you could grab a lot of threads in there. You know, we've seen a lot of teams that tend to use just two screws uh, in places where they could use four. And I would encourage you, if you could have the space for four screws, go ahead and put four screws in. I don't think you'll regret it. Now you wanna make sure as you're putting these together that your uh, 545-360s, your side tap pattern mounts are not 90 degrees from each other, but they're lined up so that the threading on the top of one is going to line up with the threading on the top of the other. All right, the first one's done. Let's continue with the next one. I like to put in the first screw really nice and loose, use it as a locator, and then go around and put all the rest of them in fairly loosely. Then when everything is situated, located, and where I want it to be, I'll go through and tighten everything down. And I like to go diagonally as I go around and do that. Just helps to make sure that everything is going to square up nicely. Once you have your side tap pattern mounts attached to the end of your X-Rail, we're going to go ahead and bolt them to the inside of your channel. We're using 5 16th inch screws for this. The ball end of your hex key is going to be great for reaching in where you have to go at a certain angle or just quickly spinning a screw into place. Um, once you have everything pretty well positioned where you want and you're um, at the phase of going back through and tightening everything up, the non-ball end is going to be great for that. You can get a little bit more um, torque on that, a little bit easier than with the ball end. So now you have a fully assembled rectangular frame. It's super sturdy and combines the benefits of both Actobotics Channel and Actobotics X-Rail. The outside dimensions are gonna be 16 and a half by 13 and a half, which will leave you room on the sides for wheels and on the front and back for other mechanisms that you may use in the competition and still fit within the 18 inch by 18 inch requirements. If you have any questions or ideas for future videos, Feel free to leave us a comment and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.